Boys and girls, it's me. You know who. And uh, I got another book for you for today. This is a book that uh, you might have read before, you might not. You might have read about this character before, but you might not. Title of today's book, it, 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 Rainbow Fish to the Rescue. Uh, by Marcus Pfister. And I bet you've read the first Rainbow Fish book, but this one has the same character, but it's a different story. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's go to the camera and we can get started right away. You ready? Let's do this. Rainbow Fish to the Rescue, written and illustrated by Marcus Pfister. Now take a look at the cover. In the first story, Rainbow Fish shared his sparkling scales with his friends. And I kind of want to show you what the scales are, and I hope this works on the camera. But these are called scales, and fish have scales on them. And if I do this just right, you can see that some of these scales sparkle, and it's not just on rainbow fish. Let's see if I can find some more here. There's a sparkling scale right there. There. Here's one. Uh, can you see it? Let me see if you can. There it is. Okay. There's one. So you might want to look for these sparkling scales as I'm reading the book. Um, now this story is of course make-believe, so this is fiction, but it's it helps you think about how you might deal with the problem. Let's read to find out what happens to rainbow fish. Here's our title page. Rainbow Fish to the Rescue by Marcus Pfister. Oh, what do you notice? What do you think is going to happen in this story? A long way out in the deep blue sea, there swam a school of fish. Not just ordinary fish. Each one had a sparkling silver scale. Remember I showed you what the scales were. Ever since Rainbow Fish had shared his scales, these fish had done everything together. They swam together, they played together, they ate together, they even rested together, floating in the shadows of the reef. That's the reef. Now, you know, boys and girls, a school has lots of children who work and play together. But what do you think a school of fish means in this story? Hmm. Well, a school of fish is just another way of saying a group of fish. They were so happy together. They had no interest in other fish. So one day when a little striped fish swam through their game of flash tag. They all stared at him. Do you see the stripes? Hey, the little striped fish finally said, can I play too? It's flash tag, said one of the little fish, and you don't have a flashing scale. Boys and girls, why did the other fish not want to play with the little striped fish? Hmm. I wonder how that's going to make him feel.
Do you have to have a special scale? The little striped fish asked. Of course you do, said the fish with the jagged fins. Come on, let's play, he called to the others. Don't worry about him. Mm. Then all the fish turned and went back to their game. Rainbow Fish hesitated. He was afraid of losing his new friends, so he didn't dare stand up to the little uh, to the fish with the jagged fins. Feeling a little ashamed, Rainbow Fish reluctantly swam off to join the others. Now, it says, boys and girls, Rainbow Fish hesitated. That means he stopped and thought for a moment. He was not sure what to do, right? Hmm. The little striped fish floated all alone at the edge of the reef. He looked sad as he watched the game. The other fish were having such fun darting and diving in the deep blue sea, their shiny scales sparkling. Rainbow fish remembered what it felt like to have no friends and how lonely he had been when all the fish had ignored him. He had been so proud of all his glittering scales that he had refused to share them. No wonder nobody wanted to play with him. But now his friends did want him to play and Rainbow Fish soon was caught up in the game. No one was paying attention when danger entered the reef. Now, boys and girls, notice how the author put three dots to show you something is coming. What do you think will happen next? Suddenly, a shark shot like an arrow into the middle of the school. The fish darted in every direction and managed to escape to their hiding place. Uh -oh. There, in a narrow crack in the reef, the shark could not reach them. They were safe. But the little striped fish wasn't. Rainbow Fish couldn't keep still. He was so worried. What's wrong? asked the skinny fish. It's the little striped fish, said Rainbow Fish. He's all alone out there. We've got to help him. With that, Rainbow Fish left the safety of their hiding place. Let's go, he called. The other fish trembled with fear, but they knew what they had to do. They sped out of the crack after rainbow fish. Boys and girls, what do you think they're going to do? They soon saw the shark, and there was the little striped fish swimming and spinning away from his jaws. Rainbow Fish could see that the little fish's strength was failing fast. Hurry, shouted Rainbow Fish, and all the fish swarmed straight for the shark. This confused the shark because usually fish swam away from him. He turned this way and that, snapping right and left, 
until he was dizzy. The shark almost got the fish with the jagged fins, but he escaped with just a few scratches. Quietly, Rainbow Fish led the little striped fish to safety. You were really brave, said the little striped fish. Thanks for saving my life. Together they watched as the exhausted shark gave up and swam away. When all the fish returned safely to the reef, they welcomed the little striped fish. Why don't you stay and play with us? Rainbow Fish offered. How can I play flash tag when I don't have a shiny scale? Asked the little striped fish. We could play fin tag instead, said the fish with the jagged fin. Touch a fin and you're in. All the fish cheered, and then they swam off to play together in the deep blue sea. Aww. Boys and girls, how do all the fish feel after changing their game to include the little striped fish? How do you think they feel now? Hmm. Oh, look at this. Remember at the beginning, they weren't talking, but now Rainbow Fish is talking to the striped fish. Aww. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Why don't you go get your writer's notebook and a pencil and some crayons, and let's come back and do some writing, okay? I'll see you in a moment. All right, boys and girls. We're going to do some writing, and I hope you got lots of crayons for today because I am ready to write and draw. At the top of your page, let's start by writing the title of the book, Rainbow Fish to the Rescue. And as always, put your first and your last name because that's what we do when we are in second grade. And you're getting ready for second grade. You are just about there. Now, I have a question for you. Let me see if I can do this. Ha ha, I can't believe it's working. Okay, the question says, what does the author want us to learn from the story of the striped fish? What lesson is there? Hmm. Well, I'm going to give you a little bit of help. First, I've got this. Let me see if this works. I've got some words here that might help you, so you don't have to worry about spelling them. In our word bank for today, we've got rainbow, little, striped, fish. You might want to write about the other fish or the shark, how they were playing. They were playing tag, but I think you can figure out how to spell tag. Now, I've got a sentence starter here also to help you. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, here's your sentence starter get you thinking about what you're going to write. The author wants us to learn that. Hmm. Now think about that for a minute. We had Rainbow Fish and his friends who were playing. The little striped fish wanted to play. The other fish said no. Rainbow Fish didn't feel too good about that. Then the shark came. Rainbow Fish and the rest of the fish went to help save the little striped fish. 
And at the end, all the fish played together and they really had a good time. Hmm. So you think about it and you finish that sentence. Tell me what you think the author wants us to learn. And then when you're done, this is the best part. You get to add a picture to your story and here's my picture so far. Oop, nope. Oh, darn it. How about this? Ready? One, two, three. Ta-da! Here's my picture. I started to draw rainbow fish and the little striped fish. Now, I'm not done. I have to work on it a little bit more. Um, and it's not perfect. That's okay. It's mine. And I love it. And that's really all that counts. And you should love your art too. So you do your writing. You do your drawing. Take a picture of it. Send it to me in Class Dojo. And I will talk to you soon. Have a good day, boys and girls.